It is a hollow muscular organ situated in the middle mediastinum inside the pericardium or enclosed in the pericardium. Shape and size. It is conical in shape and slightly flattened anthroposiarily. Its size is that of closed fist. Measurements. It measures about 12 into 9 into 6 centimeters that is length into width into anthroposterior dimensions respectively. Weight. It weighs about 300 grams in male and 250 grams in female. External features. It consists of two atria and two ventricles. The atria are situated above and behind the ventricles. That is, imagine this is the atria and this is the ventricle. The atria are not okay, vertically present above the ventricles. They are present above and slightly tilted backwards so that the ventricle is projected forward and the atria okay, lie just behind it. So the atria are situated above and behind the ventricles. It has an apex. A base, three surfaces, and four borders. Apex. The apex is formed by left ventricle and it lies at the level of left fifth intercostal space. Base or posterior surface. Two third of the base is formed by posterior surface of left atrium and one third of the base is formed by posterior surface of right atrium. Surfaces. There are three surfaces, sternocostal surface or anterior surface. Diaphragmatic surface or inferior surface and left surface. Sternocostal surface. It consists of atrial and ventricular part separated by coronary sulcus. Right two-third of the atrial part is formed by right atrium and left one-third of the atrial part is formed by left auricle. Right two-third of the ventricular part is formed by right ventricle and left one-third of the ventricular part is formed by left ventricle. The anterior interventricular groove intervenes between the right and the left ventricles. Diaphragmatic surface. It is flat and it rests on central tendon of the diaphragm. The left two-third of the diaphragmatic surface is formed by the left ventricle and the right one-third of the diaphragmatic surface is formed by right ventricle. The posterior interventricular groove separates the two ventricles. Left surface, it is mainly formed by left ventricle and a partly by the left auricle. Borders, there are four borders, right border, inferior border, left border and superior border. See on the posterior aspect you can see the superior border clearly. Right border. It is mainly formed by the right atrium and this border separates the sternocostal surface from the base or posterior surface. 
inferior border it is sharp and separates the sternocausal surface from the diaphragmatic surface so this is the diaphragmatic surface and this is the inferior border near the apex of the inferior border there is a notch known as incisura apices cardis left border the left border is mainly formed by the left ventricle and partly by the left auricle it separates the sternocausal surface from the left surface superior border the superior border is formed by the left atrium it is masked by the roots of aorta and pulmonary trunk see here it is masked by the roots of pulmonary trunk and aorta you are able to see the superior border clearly blood supply of heart the heart is supplied by two main coronary arteries right coronary artery and left coronary artery right coronary artery origin it arises from the anterior aortic sinus present in the ascending aorta course it draw runs downwards and to the right in the coronary sulcus termination it ends by anastomosing with left coronary artery branches number 1 sinoatrial 
nodal artery which supplies the AC node. Number two, right marginal artery. Number three, posterior interventricular artery. Number four, right conus artery. So these are the branches of right coronary artery. Left coronary artery origin, it arises from left posterior aortic sinus present in the ascending aorta. Course, it runs forwards and to the left in the coronary sulcus. Termination, it ends by anastomosing with right coronary artery. Branches, number one, anterior interventricular artery. Number two, circumflex artery. Number three, diagonal artery. Number four, left marginal artery. Number five, left conus artery. So these are the branches of left coronary artery. So all these arteries supplies the blood supply to the heart. Though there is anastomosis, since the anastomosing branches are very small, they are often known as end arteries. Venous drainage of heart. Coronary sinus is the chief vein of the heart which drains the venous blood. The following tributaries ends in the coronary sinus or the coronary sinus receives the following tributaries. Number one, great cardiac vein. So coronary sinus is nothing but the continuation of the great cardiac vein. So first tributary is great cardiac vein. Number two, middle cardiac vein. Number three, small cardiac vein. Number four, oblique vein of left atrium or Marshall. Number five, left marginal vein. Number six, right marginal vein. So this is the venous drainage of the heart. 